My name is Dot Neri and I do research here at the Research and Training Center on Independent Living at KU. I um, came to do this um, because as a person with a disability, I worked at several independent living centers um, which are resource centers on disability for the community and my approach was as a peer to work with other people with disabilities to help them acquire information they needed, to help them learn independent living skills, and to do peer counseling to help other people with disabilities achieve their goals. So um, I realized that we were not addressing health in the work we did, and I came here to KU to work with my advisor, who also uses a wheelchair, to look at ways that we could help people with disabilities be healthier so that they, they could enjoy civil rights. The ADA is important because it validates me as a citizen. It affirms that I have the same rights and responsibilities as other people. So I have the right to vote. I also have the responsibility to vote. And we talk a lot about how people with disabilities want rights, but we also want to assume the responsibilities that other people have. Um, but on a much larger scale, it's not just about my right or the right of other people with disabilities to do things. It's about communities and a nation in which everybody can participate. Um, the ADA can mean that instead of staying home to collect benefits, people with disabilities can work and contribute to society and pay taxes, or they could volunteer and contribute to their communities. It means that everybody can be involved, everyone can be equal, and that we all benefit when, when everybody can participate. So to me, the ADA is much more than curb cuts that facilitate my getting around in the community. It's a mindset where everybody is important and equal. And that's, to me, that's the real message of the ADA. We need to work to make sure it stays strong. Um, we need to work to make sure that the purpose behind the ADA, that everyone is equal and contribute, remains at the forefront. Um, my feeling is that we have um, many people in society now who don't believe in a role for government, who don't believe that there should be laws passed that people have to follow regarding things like inclusion of people with disabilities. I disagree very strongly with that. I think government is us. And when people express a desire to fully participate, to have people they know fully participate, that's a very important role for government. So to me, the future of the ADA is tied into why do we have government, what does it do for us, and what good can we accomplish as the government, because the government is us. It's important that a lot of people to recognize that a lot of people really don't understand the ADA. They think of it as they would call it an unfunded mandate. Um, we have all kinds of, of laws and regulations that facilitate life in the U.S. that um, include people that make it easier for us that regulate things so we're safe. Um, and the ADA, I think, should not be regarded as a mandate but as an opportunity. We live in a society where people are aging. That is the fastest growing group in society. As people age and live to much older ages than they did even 20 years ago, they're probably going to live with some functional limitations. So we really need to think about how the ADA can facilitate life for a huge group of people, both under 65 and over 65, living with functional limitations, and how, again, how they can fully participate and contribute. That's what the ADA is really about. Happy birthday, ADA, and many more years of equal rights for people with disabilities.